see. Skeg. Instructions. Pump. Paddle. Repair kit. Boat. Mmm, new boat smell. Hello, inflatable fans. You've been waiting for that, haven't you? This whole video. <laughs> yeah, I decided to start this one a little bit differently today. This is the first outing in the Aquatech Ottawa, which I'm going to affectionately call Tarka. If you get the reference, please make a note of that in the comments. And kudos if you do. So yeah, this is the Aquatech Otto. Now, the reason I bought this is I've actually quite fancied one of these for a while. As you know, I've got those sub hybrids. Well, I did have. I got rid of the uh, the Go Plus and the Brent, uh, the ironing board and the Brent, and and I kept the Cassie, the Aquamarina Cascade, because that was my favourite out of those three. But these are a bit different because they're full drop stitch, and they're designed very much like. The, uh, the Aquamarina Cascade, etc. However, these are not hybrids in the sense that you can use them as a paddleboard. This is definitely a kayak. Now, what kind of inspired this purchase was John Swan Dodger Ruffles. I'll put a link to his channel underneath here. He got the Whooper woo, 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 Sandbank style. All right, that's enough of that. Right, yeah, he got the Sandbank style kayak and he's convinced that this and that are the same so for this is quite a bit cheaper and actually now I've inflated it I think he might be right I think he might be right um yeah I'm actually quite enjoying this at the moment it's pootling along without very much effort it is actually pootling along quite nicely at around three and a half to four miles an hour. And I'm paddling up river just at this moment in time against the current. But yeah, it's not taking an awful lot of effort to kind of hit a, the kind of speed I'm used to hitting in the story kayak, if I'm honest. Currently doing 3839, 3.8, 3.9 miles an hour. That's pretty good. In another review video that somebody else has done about this boat, a comment was made about this being as fast as a hard shell of a similar size. I've never paddled a hard shell, but I think that's tough. I think the hard shell would be faster. Hard shell should do around five easily because it's just a lot smoother on the water. A lot less, what's the word? There's a lot of drag coefficient. <laughs> There's a lot less drag on a hard shell than there is on these. However, this is moving along very nicely. So it's a Friday afternoon and I've just finished work. And I just thought I'd get out for an hour, beautiful day, and uh, test this out. So I'm not going far, I just wanted to do maybe a couple of miles up river or something along those lines and see what it's like up river and see what it's like down river. And naturally I thought you might appreciate that too. Maybe. But what do I know? 
this does feel really nice and stable. It has got a little bit of a bevel on the base. But solid as a rock. You don't feel like you're going to go anywhere if you move around. You know what I mean? I've inflated this to 9.5, 9.5 PSI. Recommended inflation is 10 to 12. Hot sunny day. Yeah, I just thought like I'd underinflate it a little bit. I think I could have easily gone to 10. Right, so I think what I'll do is I'm going to put this in high collapse now because that will give you, the viewer, an indication of how well it tracks. Because the footage, I'm guessing, is going to be really smooth, buttery smooth. Whereas when a boat doesn't track well, you get really jerky footage in high collapse because uh, the camera can't lock onto something in the distance because the boat's moving around too much. But this one, I think it's going to be absolutely fine. So let's do that. The camera wouldn't have picked this up necessarily, but there was a fair amount of chop slap on the way up because the wind was uh, right in my face. But I was still pootling along at over three miles an hour, about three, four at times, I think. 3.4. I'm liking this. What I am curious about, can you see how the, uh, the top of the bow there is slightly beveled? And it's the same at the stern here too. And I'm interested to know what it's going to be like when I do camping trips and I lash stuff to the boat. Because there is underneath there a little bit of space and it's the same at the back too behind the seat. If you get a bit of stuff in there, but really it's going to have to go on top. But I'm liking this. This might, this Cassie might be usurped as my favorite kind of drop stitch flat craft you know board style craft I think what does feel a bit weird for me is I'm not used to having quite such a long bow it really does feel really long when you're paddling forward and for a single person craft this tracks really well I'll put the sizes on the screen right now because I can't quite remember off the top of my head but yeah for a single person craft this tracks really nicely well, you'll have seen that in the footage, in the uh, time-lapse footage, hyperlapse. Can't even get the words out. Anyway, I'm going to head back because I kind of need to get back and get ready for my Leeds trip tomorrow. This was just a quick test. So, going to be interested to see what it's like with the wind behind me. And it is really nice to get in and out of. You watch, he says, as he falls in. <laughs> Big beast, isn't it? Let's see if we can catch it. <laughs> Great thing about this is when there are waves and stuff on the water, you don't feel too worried. It really does feel that stable. Helicopter up there, I hope it's not the rescue one. Nice. All right, you're getting wet legs. No, I fell off it. You fell off it? I'm trying to stand up, yeah. Oh, is it new to you? Yeah. You're just giving it a go? Yeah, yeah, and uh, I just don't feel, and I can't see either, you see, because I'm blind, so like it's a bit, right. it's like I say, when I say blind, I have 3% vision, and it does affect my balance, so I said to her, well, everybody else can stand up on it, so I can, but at least water ain't cold. Because it didn't, you know, like normally, call what it takes your breath a bit. Yeah. Well, it, it didn't. Well, that's good then. So, yeah. I'm like, right. So, right, right, Kadena, I'm going to have another go now. You're going to have a go at standing up? I am, yeah. And if I go in, I'll go in. Where, uh, what? Oh, have I drifted? You, you've not half drifted, yeah. I think she wants to film you falling in, doesn't she? She's done it already. 
Because it'll cost me £10 a week to keep it to myself, you see. Do you not that? <laughs> I'm going in, you know that, didn't you? Because I'll set it up wobbling up. I'm not late, sure. Hey, you're up. I'm not, whoa, whoa, whoa. Steady, steady. I'm not late, sure. Oh, oh. <laughs> good recovery, good recovery. I cannot do it, Karina. You need more air in it. It's too much, there's not enough air in it. Yeah. That's my excuse, yeah? Yeah, that's a good excuse. Yeah. I'm going to leave you to it. Okay, love. All right, okay. nice talking to you. Have fun. Too. Well, that was an interesting aside. <laughs> there are some geese up ahead. They look like they've got young. They'll probably stay out of my way. Just that curiosity more than anything is I might stick it in hyperlapse again because this, this outing wasn't about the outing, it was about an overview of this craft. I might stick it in hyperlapse again and see what the footage is like, you know, with the wind behind me uh, and with the current. Let's do that. Well, we're just entering Maven Lock now. Quite enjoyed that. Oh, guys, look at look at look at all those geese over there. Can you see them on the water? Absolutely, twenties of them. Anyway, yeah, I like this. Now, downsides. Considering I've been trying out the Cirrus of late, this weighs around 20 kilos, I think. I'll put the weight on the screen. Can't quite remember. Got a bit of crosswind coming up now. Can you hear that hull slap? Chop slap. <laughs> yeah, so this is not a lightweight boat. Um, it does come with quite a big bag as well with wheels on, which is quite nice, nice touch. But yeah, not a lightweight boat. As I say, I kind of got used to the Cirrus of late. The Aquaglide Cirrus, so... <laughs> However, this will be better for distance trips. Purely because it moves faster and tracks a bit straighter. Yeah. I'd be quite happy in this. As opposed to the story, I think. Intriguing. I've seen that just in those few strokes while I've been yammering at the camera. I'm nearly, uh, nearly there. It does move nicely. Even in here I'm moving at 3.2, 3.3, 3.45 miles an hour. And yeah, this boat is rock solid on the water. Rock solid, I tell you. Good timing, right? Good timing. <laughs> bit of activity in here at the moment you know what to do about liking and subscribing if you like what I do on this channel if you want to stick around I'll show you whether I get it back in the bag but if you want to swan off now totally get that thanks for watching you take care of yourself I've got to do with that Anna cheerio <laughs> yeah rock solid this Marvellous. One downside to this thing, there's no side handles. You've got to use the front or the back one. Which is fine, but it would just be easier, wouldn't it? I do like it when they pop out easy. This surprised me. I thought that was a solid plastic hard nose cone but no it's the same at the uh, the front as well this is the rear I thought uh, but I guess you know when you hit something at least it uh, absorbs the impact right I've just been out of my pad and what I thought I'd do is I'll try this on deflate and see how it so we'll just get the air out first and then plug it in turn it on helps <laughs> And see how it does taking the air out. It's not something I normally do this. Are you 
going. Come on, go on. Okay, it's just started straining, so yeah, all the air out, not bad. Second chamber deflated, it's just starting to make a noise. Battery leveling's just gone down one. Oh, it's just gone back up when you turn it off. What is a nice touch in here is glue, a couple of patches just in case, but also some adhesive. Nice touch. Yeah, all gone back in there without a problem. Nice. All right, that really is all for now. Thank you so much for watching. You take care of yourself. Let's do it now. Cheerio.